Aquarius, this is your girl Kim Astrology here and I'm back with some more tarot tea, this time in the form of your March love forecast reading. Um, before we get started, um, if you want to, could you like, share, and subscribe, comment if you want, um, and turn on notification bell so you know when I post. Let's get into your reading. You have the Hermit card, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Now I try to keep it like four cards spread for these readings, but if a couple of cards come out, I'm gonna take them because I want you to get your complete message. So we have here the Hermit card. You are feeling kind of like isolated, um, either by a romantic interest or you're isolating yourself. With the King of Pentacles, somebody doesn't want somebody to leave or separate themselves. Somebody's kind of being kind of a control freak. Um, and it may not work, and this person has fleed, and now this other person is sitting there like, great, what do I do now? I guess I'll just go inside and just reflect on life. Boring. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, you don't really want to necessarily do the internal work, or somebody else doesn't. They rather kind of get lost in a partner and use use love and romance as a form of escapism, which is not healthy. Like, you know, um, with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Wands, you definitely feel um, like somebody's holding back this could be issues over finances or somebody kind of wanting to like you know still flex like the fact that they they, they kind of want to be single or act single even though they're in a relationship or somebody's kind of ready to kind of run off and see what life has to offer while somebody else is kind of like trying to hold on I'm getting like opposing energies down to earth energy with the four of pentacles and the hermit card where somebody kind of wants to cling and just kind of like plant seeds and then you got that king of king cups water emotional spiritual energy and the king of wands very spiritual energy somebody is very excitable somebody wants change and like revolution and kind of you know see what life is like the the mysteries of life somebody wants excitement and adventure and there could also have been a history of like lies and deception and manipulation um, in this situation with well, the King of Pentacles. Um, it's looking like, oh, I'm sorry, I said King of Cups earlier, I meant the King of Pentacles. So yeah, it's looking like somebody kind of went out of their way to kind of like force the situation, kind of force someone to stay and it's like no longer working. Um, with the Six of Cups, this could be painful because this is a, a, a romantic connection. It could have felt like a soul tie, a soulmate connection. Or you guys could have just been like even like high school sweethearts or known each other a very long time. Like this could have a lot of history to the relationship, whether it be karmic and spiritual or like in the real world. Like I said, you could have known each other from childhood, been besties, turned lovers. Um, something about the relationship has history that somebody does not want to let go of. With the King of Pentacles, this is indicating Earth energy. So it's a Capricorn source or a Virgo. Somebody could have this in their chart. And they could be feeling, like I said, very um, attached in terms of their, um, you know, the history with this person. It could be like less about the individual and more about like what was built upon. Um, and another person, again, is feeling very itchy feet, honestly, with the Knight of Wands. This is energy. They want to flee. They want to go. They want to have fun. They want to. They want time and space and opportunity to process, um, you know, love, basically, and, like, their experiences in love right now. The Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. This could have been an issue. The relationship could have been non-reciprocal for so long, and... Um, someone they could both parties could have been used to it and then maybe the toxicity has reached an all-time high or low and again somebody is needing to kind of decompress you know they, they're trying to press the release valve and kind of get away from um, you know the overwhelming um, sense of like it, it just seems like a tumultuous relationship honestly um, and somebody kind of needs a break and another person is kind of just still stuck in the delusion of the, the, the sense that they're working on things when really they're not. Maybe one person is more comfortable than the other because it, it says one-sided, self-absorbed. So somebody's getting their needs met and they're getting all the nutrients. And another person is feeling like assed out and thirsty and hungry. <laughs> it's not funny, but yeah. That's all I have for your love and relationship reading for the month of March. Um, blessings to you and thank you for tuning in, Aquarius. Bye.